Hello everyone, my name is Python GB, and welcome to this very long-awaited video. This, of course, is going to be the tutorial on how to install Enterari. And so without further ado, we're going to get into the first step, which is to make sure you have backed up your character and your worlds. And to do that with Terraria, what you need to do is you need to go into your documents folder, go into my games, there is a folder called Terraria, and all you got to do is add them to a new zip file. It can be a RAR file, it can be a zip file, whatever it may be, but it just ensures that you've got your uh, stuff all backed up. So as you can see, it's right there. So without further ado, let's get into things. If we go onto our internet browser and any of the uh, pages or downloads will be in the description as links so you guys can easily get to them. And what you need to do is we have the Enteraria mod page here. What you need to do is go down, find the downloads and download the latest copy. This is version 5. It works with Terraria 1.2.4.1. So the very latest version as of this video anyway. So obviously, you know, if and when 1.3 comes out, this video will probably not work with it. So, here we go. If we just skip all of this stuff, and we should wind up with the download. So, there we go. We've already got it downloaded, so I'm not going to do it again for the benefit of this video. And you are also going to need what is called the Terraria Game Launcher. So, there is actually a link on the mod page. So, if you go onto it, there you go. You've got the Game Launcher. Find the download links, which is here. So, we've got download 3.2.1.4 for the latest version of Terraria. Again, as of this video. So, we're going to download that once again and as you can see once again already got it downloaded so let's minimize all of this and for the benefit of this video what I've done is I have actually gone ahead and put them both in the same folder so what we need to do is we need to extract the Enteraria folder so we're just going to go right click extract to here once again I'm using WinZip for this video WinRAR will of course work 7-zip all in good programs they all do the same thing pretty much so yeah let's just go ahead and extract it okay okay this could not take a long time, that would be great. Alright, so as you can see, we've got a bunch of extra folders and such. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and install Game Launcher. So let's do this. So click yes. Okay, next. Uh, accept the agreement, of course. And let's just go ahead and install all the things. Uh, copy program file, create a shortcut. Yes, thank you very much. Okay, install. There we go. As you can see, it didn't take long at all, which is always a good thing. Now, what you need to do is you need to find your Terraria install directory. And now, if you've done it through Steam, if you've done it through Steam, then it will always be in the same place, okay? It's going to be in Program Files x86, or if you're using a 32-bit operating system, it's just going to be in Program Files. You need to go into the Steam folder. You need to find Steam Apps. We need to go into Common, and then Terraria. So this is the Terraria game directory, okay? So what we need to do now is we need to get the extracted file so everything apart from the zip file and in this case the exe file and we are going to simply copy them over to here okay so that's all moved over so that's all good right so if we just exit all of this bring up the game launcher hopefully it's going to work first time and it better damn well do so once this all loads up, as you can see, we've got Terraria, okay? So that's the default version of Terraria. What you need to do is you need to go into Add App. We need to name it Enterraria. Okay, good stuff. And let's go into App Path. We have Enterraria right here. So once again, this is all within the Steam installation. Uh, sorry, the Terraria installation directory. So we've got Enterraria.exe. Open that. There we go. And once again, we're just going to type in Enterraria right here. Uh, version, you can just put in whatever you want, really. I'm just going to put in 1.2.4.1 because that is the version it's running. So, okay, click on it. Launch. And hopefully what should happen is it should all load pretty damn good. All right, here we go. Looking promising so far, my friends. Yeah, there you go. Bottom left and right hand corner, we have the Enterabia mod now installed fully. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did find it useful, of course, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and share it with your friends. This is, of course, on the second channel. I normally put tutorials and such on my second channel because I don't feel like it would really fit in on the first channel. So, again, if anybody else in the comments area of my Enterabia sort of series is asking for a tutorial, just point them in the direction of this one and all should be good. So, yeah, as you can see, everything's working. Now, obviously, you need to uh, resize the window. Otherwise, things are going to get a bit weird. So, let's just call it test. And let's just get out of all of this. There we go. So, all you need to do is you just need to adjust the resolution, I guess. Okay, so that's all good. That will just about do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you do want to know when the future videos are out, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you in the next video.